Good morning and uh, welcome to the Bronx Works Senior Center. Now, you should know that I, every year, get more and more sympathetic to seniors. I don't know if I'm the oldest one here, but I'm getting there awful fast. And I can just tell you, I want to get old. The alternative is not good. And I want to have a lot of gray hair. The alternative is not good. And when I look at the top of my head, it gets less and less with time. I don't know how that works. Well, anyways, today is June 20th, which means it is the first day of summer which means it's the longest day of the year. And uh, from now on, the days start getting shorter. And we don't think about July and August as having shorter days because it takes a while. But uh, first day of summer is great. Uh, and having said that, you don't need me to tell you that because if you were outside, you would know that it's the first day of summer. It is hot out there, and it's going to stay hot. And it's going to be hot tomorrow, too, although it is nice and cool in here. And this, as we all know, is one of the eight innovative senior centers that the city has helped transform through the Department of the Aging. And we have its wonderful commissioner, Lilium Barrios Paoli. Nice round for her. Um, thanks to our investment and the work of our partners here at Bronx Works, the center now provides a larger array of services, including community gardening, nutrition assistance, and mental health programs to hundreds of Bronx residents every single day. And it also serves as one of the 455 cooling centers that will be open today and tomorrow in response to this week's heat wave. The National Weather Service has issued a heat advisory for New York City and the surrounding area through Thursday. Uh, a blast of extreme heat is expected to push temperatures up to 98 degrees both days. And when combined with humidity, it will produce a heat index which makes it feel like it's between 100 and 104. And that is dangerous. It's, uh, it really is dangerous. Uh, we joke about the heat. Uh, but when it gets to be this hot, it is not a joke. Um, the Weather Service has also issued an air, air quality alert, effective from 11 this morning through 11 tonight, and that means that New Yorkers should make every effort to stay cool and seriously consider limiting outdoor activity while this alert is in, in effect. And people who are particularly sensitive to elevated levels of pollution, which means older New Yorkers, young children, and people who have asthma, heart disease, and other cardiovascular problems are advised to stay indoors as much as possible. Now, we all think we're tough, and nobody thinks that it's a big deal. But uh, sadly, every year we have to relearn the lesson. This is a very big deal, and we should all be very careful. And I plan to do exactly the same thing. Uh, it will be hot and uncomfortable, and if proper precautions are not taken, it really is dangerous, and that's even truer since this is the first real heat wave of the year, and near the end of a pretty mild June, meaning people will be especially unaccustomed to the heat and especially at risk. So remember to look out for the most vulnerable. Uh, what you can do is not only take care of yourself, but try to help our uh, fellow citizens. Check on your neighbors, especially seniors. Uh, and those who have chronic health conditions or special needs, make sure they're drinking water and staying cool. And it uh, wouldn't be a bad idea. You just knock on the door and say, you know, it's very hot outside. I was thinking about you. Uh, you're drinking a lot of water. I'm going to the store. Can I bring you back something to drink or uh, do some shopping for you so that you don't have to go out today? And just remind them, if you do have to go out, you should just walk very slowly, wear light clothing, uh, and uh, just make that as uh, quick a trip as you can. Uh, while moving slowly. Um, one of the best ways to stay cool, if you talk to somebody who does not have air conditioning in their house or their apartment, is to go to one of the city's cooling centers, like the one here at Bronx Works. Uh, if your home uh, just is not uh, very comfortable, uh, the cooling centers are open to anyone who needs relief from the heat. They're in senior centers and libraries, Salvation Army community centers, and other locations in the five boroughs. And I urge anyone who, without, uh, without ready access to a cool environment, to take advantage of one of the cooling centers. That's why we have them. Uh, don't feel afraid to go. They're open, and they are all going to be very welcoming. And you can also cool off at one of the city's public beaches, which are open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, just be careful. Don't go any place in the water. And this is probably not for most people in this room, but for people watching on television. Uh, and reading and listening on radio. Uh, don't go in the water if there's not a lifeguard 
Uh, every year we have to relearn this lesson, and I saw the other, uh, last week I think it was, there was a young kid who went in the water and people even yelled at him, don't go in, there's no lifeguard here. He went in and it turns out that nature can be very tough and sometimes not very kind, and he died. And we just don't need that. Um, only swim with a lifeguard present. There are plenty of lifeguards, there are plenty of places. And if you can't find a place with, uh, with a lifeguard, just don't go in the water. Cooling off is not as important as living. I mean, I know it's annoying, I know it's uncomfortable, but you've got to put things in perspective. Uh, for the location and hours of the nearest, nearest cooling center or beach, all you've got to do is dial 311, or you can go on your computer to nyc.gov, where the Office of Emergency Management's website has a cooling center finder, and both 311 and our website uh, will also have up-to-date information on weather conditions and how to protect yourself and your family, and 311 is going to have extra staff on hand to manage the expected increase in call volume. And besides so city facilities, there are plenty of other places to cool off. Head to the mall, a movie theater, use your air conditioner at home if you have one. If you do have air conditioning, bear in mind that there will be heavy demand on the city's electric grid for the next two days, so keep it at a temperature that's comfortable and doesn't waste too much energy. Uh, to save energy and money, turn off non-essential appliances and to sa save your washing and drying until the uh, high extreme heat has passed. Um, and uh, we think that the Con Ed is going to be okay. Uh, what they have problems if is it stays hot for multiple days. This is only two days, we think. Uh, and they've spent a lot of money and made a lot of investments. Last year we got through it pretty easily. Uh, let's hope the same thing is true this year. But you can help by, uh, you just don't turn on your dryer or your washing machine or your dishwasher during the day. Wait until the evening when there's a lot less use. And your air conditioner, just don't run it if you're not at home. It only takes a couple minutes to cool off a room uh, when you walk in and it's hot. If you leave it going all day, it's, it, it's only two minutes difference, but it uses an enormous amount of electricity. That's gonna make your electric bills higher, but it's also gonna make it more difficult for our utility system to provide everybody the energy need and keep it as reliable as we need to have it. Um, beat the heat, don't perform, as I said, any strenuous activity outside during the hottest part of the day. Light clothing, bright colored clothing, uh, plenty of water. Uh, if you're out and about, you can visit one of the city's uh, New York's NYC water on the go drinking stations. And there's one outside here. I'm going to take a look at it afterwards. So these will be in various public plazas, parks, green markets, busy sidewalks, and special events around the city. If you do have pets, Make sure they have plenty of cool water as well. And if you drive, don't leave pets or particularly kids in a car unattended. People do that every year. They close the windows, they lock their pets or a kid in the car, and the temperature just skyrockets. It's like an oven. The heat goes in and the heat can't get out, and it, is, it can be lethal. And lastly, please don't open fire hydrants without a city-approved spray cap, which you can get at your local firehouse uh, if you don't know what one looks like. This is a city approved fire cap. It goes, it screws onto the pipe, and it's got some holes here. So the water sprays out, and you can play in the streets, and you can get cool and everything, but it doesn't use so much water that if the fire department shows up down the street and needs water to put on a fire, uh, it's, it doesn't uh, take so much that they won't have the water. Um, if the hydrants are just opened and without these and flooded into the streets, it really can be lethal. And, uh, you know, it could be your house that's on fire, so help our fire department. Um, the good news is that um, uh, this blast of heat is likely to pass over us and move on in a couple of days, so we look forward to more normal temperatures for the weekend. Uh, Commissioner Joe Bruno of the city's Office of Emergency, Emergency Management has more details. Joe? I think the mayor has given you a, a pretty good idea of what uh, our message is on this heat, heat wave that's coming, but I'm going to stress a few of the points that he's made already and, and a few more others. Uh, as the mayor noted, uh, this is the first day of summer, so it's only fitting that uh, it marks the first heat wave for us uh, of 2012. We've been lucky enough to enjoy a very mild June so far, but we're here today to remind New Yorkers that extreme heat is a real danger. According to the latest forecasts, uh, as the mayor stated, we're expecting uh, heat indices in the area of 100 to 101 over the next two days. That really is real heat of what you feel. The temperatures are slightly lower, but this is serious heat well into the upper 90s on uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, 
we will get some relief, as the mayor noted, on uh, Friday, and we expect the weekend to be in the mid-80s, uh, much, war much uh, drier, much less humidity, and that's good. We're asking all New Yorkers to take those uh, common sense steps uh, to be safe during this first heat wave. Look out for your own health, check in on your neighbors, uh, and conserve energy. Check in on your friends and neighbors who might be more at risk. See if you can uh, help them by getting to a cooling center if they need it, get them some uh, supplies if they need it so they don't have to venture out into uh, very uh, hot weather. Um, as the mayor uh, mentioned, we have 455 uh, cooling centers open across the five boroughs. This time we plan to keep cooling centers open today and tomorrow, and we'll make a uh, decision tomorrow what it looks like. Uh, to find the cooling center near you, you can call 311 or you can check uh, OEM's Cooling Center Finder on nyc.gov just before you leave the house. Uh, that way, you're sure that uh, the center is open and you'll understand the hours of operation, which will be included in there. A few other things that the city is doing is, uh, obviously, we uh, sent out a message uh, to uh, all of our caregivers in the city that we relate to, almost 1,000 individual uh, people who either work in organizations, visiting nurse service, many of the hospitals, uh, health care facilities, to ensure that they know of the, uh, the heat wave and what they should be doing. Uh, the spray cap program, the mayor, the mayor has noted, uh, we're out there on the street, our Department of Homeless Services on homeless outreach to ensure we can protect people who may not be able to protect themselves. Uh, we put out excavation alerts from the Department of Buildings, Department of Transportation, and others to make sure that those who are going to do work in the city are careful, not cut power lines. We're uh, monitoring all kinds of events, and, and Dr. Farley from the uh, Department of Health will give you some other health messages. Uh, we ask people to keep their air conditions at home if they have them at around 78 degrees. Uh, that will get the humidity out and, and keep them very comfortable. Lastly, we, we say if you are out there listening, Notify NYC is a city public messaging system for emergencies. We ask you to sign up. You can know what's happening in your neighborhood, where your children go to school, where you have an interest, you have a little family. Uh, we will communicate with you through email, SMS messaging, or via telephone. Uh, you can sign up for, NYC, for Notify NYC by visiting uh, nyc.gov. You can call 311. They'll give you the information. Or you can follow us on Twitter. And lastly, uh, you can... Uh, Go on to nyc.gov, and you can get uh, the Beat the Heat Guide from OEM. Give some good details on the emergencies we're facing when heat comes in like this, uh, and you can get that on our website. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. Joe, thank you. And now our Health Commissioner, Tom Farley, will share some more information on how to protect your family and family's health and your health. Tom. Thank you. I just want to emphasize a couple of, of points that the mayor made. Uh, extreme heat can be dangerous. Extreme heat can be, in fact, deadly. Uh, heat actually kills more Americans each year than all other natural disasters combined. So we all know to be careful, but we don't recognize how serious it really is. Now, the people who are most vulnerable in the heat are older adults. They're people with chronic heart and lung conditions and people with mental illness or mental impairment, such as cerebral palsy. So it's particularly dangerous for those people if they live alone, uh, if they have limited mobility, and if they don't have an air conditioner, or if they're not using their air conditioner. So if you're in one of those groups, uh, stay inside in air conditioning. 78 degrees is enough to keep you healthy, uh, but make sure you have that air conditioner on. Drink plenty of water. Uh, avoid alcoholic beverages and avoid caffeinated beverages, which can make you dehydrated. And then be familiar with the symptoms of heat-related illness. Those are fatigue and weakness, an upset stomach, uh, feeling dizzy or feeling somewhat faint, uh, and perhaps having muscle cramps. If you're confused or if you see someone else who has those symptoms who is confused, uh, that may be getting more serious, call 911 to make sure they get proper medical attention. Then for everybody, we recommend that you slow down. Uh, no one is more enthusiastic about promoting physical activity than me, uh, but this is not the time to be exercising in the sun. If you want to be outside and be active, uh, do it in the early morning hours. And for people with those chronic medical conditions, this is not the time to be exercising. Now, also, I want to emphasize, we have in this city 300,000 seniors who live alone. Uh, and so not all of them are going to be able to make it to our cooling centers, as many as we have. So it's particularly important for you to check up on those people who are vulnerable, your family, your friends, and your neighbors. Make sure they're OK. Uh, you check to see if they're having those symptoms. And get, turn their air conditioner on or get them into a cool place. We New Yorkers are tough, uh, but we also care for each other. And remember, so heat can kill. 
So by checking on others, you may be able to help them, or you may just be able to save a life. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. I want to point out we have uh, Carolyn McLaughlin, Director of Bronx Works, and uh, Maria Rivera, Director of the Morris Senior Center, and Commissioner Carter Strickland of the Department of Environmental Protection. So thank you, all of you. Um, let me just uh, summarize today's announcement for our Spanish speakers. Uh, hoy y mañana vamos a tener temperaturas extremadamente altas. Vamos a abrir centros con aire acondicionado para el público. Uh, el calor extremo puede ser peligroso, especialmente para personas enfermas o de edad avanzada conmigo. Uh, por favor, tome precauciones y manténgase uh, fuera del sol. Uh, llaman uh, el uh, 311 y uh, visite nyc.gov para encontrar un lugar donde refrescase en su comunidad. And with that, we'll be